we are going to be getting up here and getting our acceleration with this uh, transit van. This thing's quick. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we are going to be going over a 2021 Ford Transit, but this one is a pretty crazy Transit, so it's the HD version, it has the dually wheels in the rear, it's a 350, and yeah, so it should be pretty interesting. First and foremost, a huge shout out, thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this Transit. Check out their inventory in the description down below. Let's get right into the video. So under the hood, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 310 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque. So that's more than enough to move this all wheel drive cargo van. Now let's go to the front end of the cargo van and sorry about all of the snow in the van as you guys can see it has just been snowing every single day here in Utah. Anyways I love the color on this. This is the Abyss Gray I believe is the name on it and it just looks really good. It's so much better than just having a regular white van. You guys can see you've got the halogen lights here at the front and then pretty basic with the grill design. Got the Ford logo there in the center. We do have parking sensors here on the front and then we also do get fog lights as well and then you guys can see we've got the cab lights there at the very top and I mean other than that there's a front end now coming on the side here I've got 205 millimeter tires wrapped around 16 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear and like I said this van is a dually you guys can see that from the setup there in the back and then as for the wheel design I mean you know pretty basic all that fun stuff notice how we have the fender flares here on the side and then we've got that molding that continues all the way to the back to the rear fender flare which pops out quite a bit because again to uh, fit the dual rear wheels and then look at these mirrors just how massive <laughs> they are we'll go over those in a little bit um, but I've got to show you guys the uh, full side profile of this and it is massive so yeah there you go <laughs> oh a little bit of snow a little bit of snow also just uh, sitting there on the uh, lip of the bumper so let's actually pop here into the van. You guys can see the receiver hitch, all that fun stuff. Then we have the uh, bumper step. I'm going to uh, go over that so I don't get snow here on the inside of the van. So we're kind of making a big step, but you can basically use that as like the first step, if that makes sense. But anyways, there is tons of space back here. I mean, you guys can see like massive amounts of headroom. You can stand up here fully. I mean, I'm like six feet tall and I can stand up here and I still have plenty of room above my head. Um, notice that you've got like these kind of like indentations all over here. Uh, and again, this one hasn't been built out or anything like that. So it's just a, uh, you know, basically stock here in the interior, nothing's been added to it. But I mean, the space here is just incredible. Kind of like walking around, it's a little bit slippery. Um, but yeah, I mean, you guys can imagine there's so much stuff that you could put in here. Um, a lot of people are turning these into like camper vans, for example. And so, you know, what you could imagine since this one doesn't have all of the windows all over uh, is you could have like a bed or something on this side, or maybe you want a lot of space. You could have like a bed all on this side, but I'm imagining like a bed on this side, you'd have like a shower in the back. You could have like a little kitchen here in this area. And then obviously you could partition it off so that it's like separate from the driving area. And I, I mean, literally there's so many things you can do. And also we have the side door here, so it's kind of heavy. Ooh, but you can open that from the interior. And with this particular van, it's got a uh, window on it. And then also notice how they do it where it's like, they've got a step so that you have uh, multiple steps. But yeah, there's multiple ways to uh, get into the van itself. And so that's pretty cool. And closing it, oh wow, it's a lot easier than it is to open it uh, from the inside. But yeah, that's all the inside stuff. So uh, let's go close it. Make sure you do this door first. Because again, this is the inside latch door and they have to close uh, in the proper order. And one way to tell is you guys can see the lip here. So you just wanna make sure that you uh, close the doors in order. And I didn't, there we go, now it's closed. Now let's finish things up here with the rear of the van. You guys can see it is just massive. I mean, there's a regular van. Here's this uh, cargo van. Yeah, pretty crazy. You got your Transit 350 HD badge, all wheel drive, because again, this is all wheel drive. You've got the parking sensors there on the rear. You guys can see the exhaust tip poking out the side, the gigantic tail lights. And again, in this gray color, this thing looks really good. First thing is, this is actually where you fill up the uh, fuel and it is capless, which is nice. Uh, and if you're wondering, you look it looks like you have to open up the door to actually access that. Now I'm gonna do this very slowly because I'm not sure if you can... 
Okay, so yeah, you can actually uh, close it and have it open, but you have to open up the door to open it. It looks like just because of uh, where the latch is, but again, I would do that slowly. Anyways, you guys can see the mirrors here. They've got blind spot monitoring. They're massive. Got our window controls right here. You can see the door lock and unlock with the little door handle. And then here are the seats. This has the nice leather seats here. You can see the stitching here in the center and then on the sides as well. These seats are heated. You've got your power adjustments on the side of the seat. Pedal layout down below. Got this little like cup holder thing. Mirror adjustment, light controls. And there's where we look before we pop in. Ooh. Now here is our payload stick. You guys can see 4,592 pounds for the payload capacity. So uh, pretty solid stuff. And then here's the other sticker if you guys want to see that little thing and everything. So uh, pretty cool. So here is the steering wheel in the Transit 350. You can see that you've got the leather around the steering wheel. Darker stitching here on the center portion. Voice command, phone controls, controls for the center stack. Uh, adaptive cruise control as well comes with this. You've got your voice command controls, and then you guys can see the turn signal stock right there. We've got the windshield wiper stock, and well, that's all for that. So here's the center gauge cluster. You've got analog gauges for the RPMs and for the speed, but there is that screen in the center which you can scroll through to see different bits of information on the vehicle, the radio, all that uh, fun stuff, fuel economy and everything. And the fuel economy is not going to be accurate because this thing doesn't really have any miles on it. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is everything for the uh, center screen. Also, I wish it was warmer outside today. It's 20 degrees. Come on, Utah. So here's the center infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. You guys can see the backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And we also have a zoom function there on the receiver hitch. And then there is that other viewpoint that you can do with the camera. So solid from a backup camera perspective. As for the rest of the infotainment system, I mean, response time on the infotainment system is great. Uh, it's four just normal infotainment system. It's obviously not the massive 12 inch display they have in some of their new vehicles, but I mean, this still has all the functionality and it's easy to use and has good response time. So what more could you ask for? Also, there's analog radio controls uh, just down below that. Now this does have a single zone climate. We have heated seats for the front, like I said. Got your hazard lights, your 12 volts right here. And then we've got these buttons right here. This one is just a uh, blink switch. I love how it still has like the line on top of it. Parking sensors. And then this is the traction control. And then this is the drive mode select. You can see you've got normal, eco, slippery, mud ruts, and then tow haul. Now they've added uh, the mud ruts mode and all that kind of stuff because they expect people to turn these into camper vans and take them off road. So they're trying to, you know, prepare it for that. So that's why they have, well, a drive mode for that. So here's the shifter for that 10 speed automatic. It does have a manual shift function if you do want to shift it yourself. Got the cup holders down here, some extra storage, and then you can see the glove box situation uh, and you guys can see more storage here on the dash area and then this one does have a manual uh, mirror dimmer and then you guys can see the uh, extra storage here at the top so you guys can uh, use that for well whatever you want and obviously there's no partition in this so you can just see the back from the rest of everything also look there's another cup holder over there pretty funny so here's a window sticker for this Transit 350. I kind of have to go around the antenna so you guys can see uh, more of the window sticker. Um, but anyways, again, it is a bisque gray, so I got that right. Feel free to freeze the frame if you want to read uh, all the optional equipment. I love how 2021 model year is part of the optional uh, equipment uh, just because of uh, obviously all of the production restrictions we've had this year. That's so hard for me to say for some reason, you know, with uh, COVID and all that kind of stuff. But uh, anyways, you guys can see everything that's been added to this. And then you can see the base price versus the total price. So $59,990. They had to put it $10 under 60 grand. So that's not a $60,000 cargo van, even though after taxes, it will be. Um, but yeah, let's take it out and drive it. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here in this Transit 350. There's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, again, they do have blind spot. And then throughout the rest of the rear and with the windows in the back and on the side, it actually helps out quite a bit with visibility, but the mirrors are still fantastic. Uh, so that helps out too. But anyways, let's set off. 
So we are setting off here in the Transit 350. And first off, I want to talk about uh, parking lot uh, driving uh, because that's going to be important, right? This is a pretty big van. And so I'm sure some of you guys are wondering about maneuverability. Uh, first off, being a dually, I actually don't notice the difference between this and a regular Transit 350 from a uh, you know, maneuverability standpoint. It feels like it's pretty much the same. So uh, it looks like you don't really lose anything uh, from a maneuverability standpoint when you do go for the uh, dually, which is, you know, a big positive. Now, aside from that, getting up and moving, yeah, having these crazy heavy duty leaf springs, I can definitely tell a ride quality difference. And then also being so tall, quite a bit of noise too. There's quite a bit of road noise, uh, wind noise as well. Yeah, so it is definitely uh, noisier than the other transit van that I drove. So we're going to be getting up here and getting our acceleration with this uh, transit van. This thing's quick. And that's just partial throttle. Wow, that is impressive. I was not expecting this to be that quick. Yeah, this definitely is uh, a lot better from a power perspective compared to the uh, Ram Promaster. This thing just knocks it out of the water and it's all wheel drive, which is great when it's 20 degrees outside and it's snowing. I understand the roads are clear. You know, we got snow plows here in Utah, but you know, it's still good to have all wheel drive, right? It still helps you get uh, grip. I don't know if you guys heard the intro clip in this video. Literally, as I was filming the intro clip, you, the sound in the background was someone be, like just tire squealing because someone spun out. So uh, yeah. It's good to have all wheel drive. Um, but yeah, I mean, ride quality is pretty good. Um, I feel like you could daily drive this. Uh, the thing that I would say is I'd probably add a partition or something if you were gonna daily drive it though, just because it's, it's pretty noisy here in the interior. Uh, having it like all hollow back there and everything, there's nothing to like insulate it they, there's just so much echo and uh, rebound with everything and so you just you hear a lot of noise um, but yeah I mean it's it's interesting it's uh, I it's it's definitely an interesting experience um, but it's easy to drive I will say that I, I will give uh, the transit that it's very easy to drive which again is something that you'd want um, I feel like a lot of people uh, that are going to these uh, probably don't I haven't necessarily driven like a massive vehicle beforehand at least uh kind of what i've seen with what people have done uh usually it's like i'll see people that have like they'll go from like a car at least when i worked at a dealership they go from a car to a cargo van so it's like a huge shift um so it's, it's good that this is easy to drive uh, but i feel like i'm also not qualified to talk about this drives because i don't shop at whole foods i don't have a man bun and i, I do wear socks with sandals though so i got that going for me but I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have all the things. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just making a joke about. Anyways, <laughs> um, so summing things up and uh, giving this a score. Uh, first off, uh, exterior wise, with this gray, I think it looks really good. And then uh, interior wise, these seats are nice. It's cool that it has heated seats. There's tons of space in here. There's so much, like, there's so much potential in this. Like, there's so much you could do uh, with this van. Um, and then from a driving characteristic perspective, the dually doesn't make it drive any worse. Um, it is, you know, rougher riding with those leaf springs. So definitely take that into account, but you could daily drive this. It's all wheel drive, right? It's got plenty of pickup, plenty of power, right? That engine's super torquey. Uh, so I would say out of all the cargo vans, this is my favorite so far. Um, because, you know, I like the Mercedes Sprinter, right? It's got all wheel drive too, but those are so much more expensive. Uh, I feel like you're pretty much getting all the same stuff you get with the Sprinter, but you're not paying like a hundred thousand dollars for the thing. So I feel like this is a, I, I mean, it seems like a really good value to me for everything that you're getting, the power performance, uh, the interior space, the payload capacity, every, everything's solid. So uh, yeah, that's the Transit 350. Now let's gonna sum things up for a video on this Ford 350 cargo van, HD, dually, whatever you wanna call it. Anyways, a huge shout out thank you to the Larry Schmiller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with the van. Check out their inventory in the description down below. I'll see all of you in the next video.